Hello everyone. Welcome to Anybest YouTube channel. My name is Ina Johnson. Today I want to talk about crayfish preservation. The major problem facing farmers is preservation. After transportation, the next thing is preservation. So many goods perish at the place of harvest because there is little or no knowledge on how to preserve them. Tell me, how many people knows how to preserve yam till the next planting season? Without them decaying or dying. Maybe just the farmers. How about the consumers? How about new uh, people starting uh, that are just going into farming? So it's the same thing with um, crayfish. If you are uh, new in the business, it's very, very important that you understand and know how to preserve it. Otherwise, don't start the business. You don't know how to preserve it. Let me tell you challenges of um, crayfish and probably other fish and all, crustacean farmers. The main problem of people dealing with crustacean food is how to preserve them. Another group of seafood that has to be well preserved are fishes. The same way you find maggots in fishes, that's that's the same way you find um, maggots in crayfish if they are not well dried. So this calls for serious concern and that, that's the reason you need to make sure that you know how to preserve crayfish. What's the importance of uh, preserving crayfish? One. It preserves the shell life. It stops white ants invading the crayfish. Prevent dams such as fungus to, that spoils the test and, and reduce the value of the of the crayfish. How to preserve crayfish? Yes, this is the main the main thing now. So, some people think that one cannot um, preserve crayfish, but that's not true. You can pre actually preserve crayfish and it will stay for a long time. I remember my friend, my sister, telling me that this is how her friend told her to preserve the crayfish, and she's been doing that, we've been doing that. But that's on a small scale. If if you are if it's just for a family, personal consumption, you can put it in the freezer. That's put it in container, put it in the freezer to maintain the freshness, the test just from farm. But uh, what's, what about when you are in, doing into commercial, you are selling it in large quantities? How do you do it? Now, the procedure is sun dry or oven dry the crayfish well. Until they, uh, when you make, to make sure that they are very dry, then you, you package them. When you package them, you put them on that is on a on a plank. You put them on a plank. That's if they are in bags. If they are in containers, well, you know that one is not plain. You put in the in, in the refrigerator. That I know. I make sure that you have um, lights to power your generator. But for people that are doing um, selling the crayfish in large quantity, please just put the bags on a slab on planks. Just arrange planks and then put them there. Make sure the place is airy enough and then you put them on top. You can use wrap with a, a well thick nylon, not the one that can expose them to moisture. Cover very well, such a way that damp can't get in yeah that's just it's another way to preserve crayfish in bags is this you know it because market women they are very fun so you ask somebody what do you what how do you you uh, preserve crayfish you may not even get the answer do you normally wonder how do market women and preserve their crayfish, they will buy up to 100 bags and then they will finish selling them without nothing happening to them. This is it. Place the long bags of crayfish on something that I just like I said on a on 
slap or plank you can set up boots you can set up some woods in a cold place and put the crayfish on top not where it is sun can be hitting it on that way it can stay for two months nothing happens to it note never keep a bag of crayfish on bare ground because they will spoil easily because of damp how to remove white ants from infect, infested crayfish white ant <clears throat> is a real big challenge i didn't know about this until i was faced with it oh my god i suffered but the good thing is that my own i was into ground crayfish not just that i, I sell it um, like that so i quickly sun dry them and you know it reduced in quantity but i was able to to overcome that um, infested uh, crayfish this is how this is what you should do once you buy crayfish make sure you dry them mm -hmm. or if already if you have crayfish that is already infested this is what you do when you should you do sun dry the crayfish very well then the white ants will on their own they will crawl out once you just expose crayfish to sun they will start going out the ones that remain will cluster on top of the, the cover of the container and will later die so we just come and remove the container so that the ones that are dead you, 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 you pour them out turn out the crayfish and shake them very well with basket or sieve uh, with with basket or sieve because the dead ants might have fallen in and mixed with the crayfish or with the chaff. They will have fallen and mixed with the chaff. So just shake it. Because they are very tiny, so definitely they will come out. Separate the chaff from the main crayfish or, or clear the crayfish from the chaff. Those white ants are so tiny. If care is not taken, you may not see them early until they have overtaken the crayfish. That is when you probably notice some whitish things on the body of the crayfish container. So always check, go back to check your bags. Is it still as transparent as it is or has it become translucent? Has it become blur? If it become blur, the first thing to suspect, apart from damp, is the ant, the white ants. They multiply very fast. If you delay in drying your crayfish, immediately you notice their presence. You may have to dispose them because you cannot contain the outcome. Crayfish that is invaded, infested by these white ants have already reduced in test. Just know that. So if you buy crayfish and the weight is extremely heavier than what it should be, or, or what a crayfish should wear, please be on the safe side. Sun dry it. 30 minutes, one hour is something. It will reduce the moisture content. Some of the farmers pack them into bags immediately after smoking, drying them with fire instead of allowing them to cool down. So that heat now, that heat will now fall. You know, when you, just like when you boil water and cover it, when you un un uncover it, you see that water will drop inside it's the same way that is why you see it, it comes like that not all the ones that i'll expose them and allow them to cool that before packaging will not experience that but how about those that did not do that so you come and dry them the vapor accumulation on top falls down into the contents and then increase the amount of uh, water in the crayfish that's why you should always dry your crayfish if they're not dry when you buy it at the cost of my research i got to interview some women we're all coming back from crayfish market i put the question across how do we attack white ants on crayfish i was boldly told that they use ant repellent that's insecticides can you imagine those are the things we we buy things in the market we don't know what we are buying ah. They simply pour some quantity into it and write them off. I told them that was bad. Her sister interviewed another woman and she said that the same thing. She even said the shop opposite her deals on chemicals. So she just buy from them and add to it. That is so pathetic, you know. But please don't try that. It's not good. 
once you expose your crayfish to the sun, definitely you will save not only just the quantity going down, you also save it from deteriorating. How to preserve other ants from destroying your crayfish? Red or brown ants, depending on the type you have in your area, is another crayfish destroyer. They eat crayfish a lot. The best way to attack them is to spray salt around the container or the place you put the crayfish. Or do not even allow hole or anything that they can easily crawl and, 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 and get to your crayfish. Now, I'm not saying pour um, salt inside the bag, I mean around the environment wherever you keep your crayfish, just to send them far from the environment. How to prevent the smell of crayfish? If you are afraid that your fridge stroke refrigerator, your refrigerator smell because of uh, will smell because of crayfish, this is what you have to do. You, <laughs> because of the crayfish you are storing, then you don't have to worry. A baking soda will take care of that. What you have to do is that buy a baking soda, go to a chemical shop around you and purchase baking soda, pour it inside a cup and leave it open. Place it inside the refrigerator or where you are storing or so packaging the crayfish. This, in this way, it, you won't hear the smell of crayfish. So that is that, is that so, so far on, on, on crayfish preservation. If you have any questions, you can ask if you have anything to add you can add now this is how i say you should preserve your crayfish for those that are taking it in for personal consumption you can you can grind and then put them inside container and put in the refrigerator but for commercial set up um, uh, planks and then put your bags of crayfish on top it's to remain there until you finish selling make sure no, there's no um, moisture in the crayfish before drying it. If there is, sun dry it first before um, storing it. One thing is that once your crayfish is dry, ants cannot infest it. Thank you so much for staying glued to any best YouTube channel. As always, God bless you. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and bye for now.